Hey, this is Chris, um, and it's been an insanely long time since I've made a video, so I, I thought I would do an update on my um, outside pond kind of container thingy. I'm not exactly sure what to call this. Um, but without further ado, I will show you. Uh, this is my container pond, um, and it's, uh, it's just a storage bin which has been buried in the sand, um, and it's doubled to give it a little bit more structural integrity and it's buried in the sand to help uh, regulate the temperatures a bit. I've used this storage bin um, for guppies, I've used it for rice fish, and this year I'm using it for sunset mollies. I've never really had any success breeding fish in this container pond, um, but I haven't really had much in the way of problems with killing fish, so um, so I'm giving it another try. Uh, because I have mollies in here, um, I don't really have much in the way or anything in the way of floating plants. I have this big algae ball, and underneath the algae ball, there's hornwort. Um, and hornwort can tolerate quite a bit of salt in the water. So with mollies, I like to give them um, a teaspoon of marine salt per gallon. And uh, a lot of plants don't like that much salt. Uh, hornwort is totally fine with it though. So there is hornwort growing underneath that algae mass. Um, these mollies uh, I got earlier this summer and I, I got them from a seller who I, I won't mention on eBay, on, on uh, Aquabit. And uh, the seller actually sent four mollies, two pairs, in a seven inch cubic, seven cubic, no, seven inch cube box with no insulation. Um, so four mollies in a seven inch cube, no insulation. And uh, you can imagine that that didn't go that well. So uh, one female arrived in really bad shape and she did not make it. Um, and so now I have these two males and one female. The female is the brighter orange one here. Um, and then there's one male which has more orange and one male which has more black. I would like to selectively breed these guys for males that have a really big black sail fin. Um, and uh, these, are, these are not perfect specimens here for what sunset mollies should look like, but they're, they're pretty nice. Um, one of the males has a little extension on his tail, and so I, I will eventually um, move him to a different location because uh, that's not something that I, I want to breed for. I, I don't want them. I don't know if that is because there's some layer tail molly in this line or, or what, but it's definitely not something I'm looking for. Um, so these guys today are eating uh, extreme krill flakes, and uh, I, I go back and forth between extreme krill flakes and the, uh, the extreme algae wafer or algae flakes. I think they're, the algae flakes are a spirulina based flake food. Um, so just thought I would update you on uh, what's going on in my little container pond this summer. Uh, hope everybody's well and thanks for watching. Bye!